Welcome to the Trading Lounge and the Indices Report for the US. We'll be covering the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ and a, uh, and a look at the uh, Dow Jones transports. <clears throat> the S&P 500 here, we're tracking a uh, triangle pattern here as our primary count. And uh, within that triangle, uh, we're looking for five waves. So we label them the A wave, the B the C wave, the D wave, and the E wave here, which is in play now. Uh, each structure within the triangle is in uh, three waves. So we've finished wave D, and uh, the CPI figures, we had an expectation of 0.2, came in at 0.1, which is not good. And um, we've got the minutes from the Fed uh, coming out in about two hours' time. So uh, hopefully that will bring in some support for uh, for Wave E. Our uh, target for Wave E is between 260 and 270. So we've still got uh, a bit more space to uh, to, to come down uh, likely before we see support. Okay. So on the uh, 15 minute chart here, if we looking at our alternative count that we had yesterday we had a uh, a positive possible count going up through uh here um but uh this was our alternative count and and uh that's come into sort of play here i don't think this is actually finished here but uh like as i mentioned 260 and 270 is uh sort of target there but we always see support on uh, uh 72 so we're in group two here at the moment so let's see if group two holds the support i'm fully aware of the the bearish pattern for uh uh for the markets as well as you know we've been over the australian markets and uh we've also probably had a look at uh these markets too so just on four hour chart here the uh, the, the bearish count and you know and, and and rightfully so it's you know the market does appear to be uh, bearish making sort of lower highs and struggling at the 2100 here so I'm fully aware of the the the, the, the bearish side of things uh, uh, how however we you know we, we still need to look at, at, at both counts and not to get fixed on anything and get trapped that's the main thing so um, as the top of the market here for wave three here, it can be counted as wave one down through to here, an A and a B and a C for wave two, and then down for one again, an A and a B and a C for wave two here, and then working uh, further down through here. Um, so that's uh, it's plausible and possible and all those sorts of things and uh, and, and and that's fine. This can still be uh, a larger correctional pattern. We're still looking at the top of being wave three and looking down for uh, wave four. And you know we'd been using as a bit of a template because the S and P five hundred and the Dow Jones uh, have had very awkward. Uh, tops that have been a little bit tricky to work out but the Dow Jones transports uh, has been a market that we've sort of used as a template and when we started using it uh, this is a bit of an old chart here it's moved down uh, further but uh, you know it, it's actually had a corrective pattern and we've been looking at it in terms of uh, an A wave, a B wave, and we're looking for five waves to come down into, well, in below sort of 8,000. So that was one of the first charts that we looked at. This was the second chart that we'd uh, prepared for this. And uh, we'd been, you know, you should be able to remember this one. We'd been at the top of wave three here. We're looking down for wave four, and we've got an A wave and a B wave. And then we were looking down for wave one, two and then all the way down here for wave three which is actually completed now and then we're looking for wave four which is completed now and then we're on our way down uh in this section here the closing price now is is uh just well between uh 82 and 83 here and uh our last little chart i want to have a look at here was this is it here a little bit uh clearer here so from wave three here, we've got a nice A wave in three waves here, uh, B wave here, 
and then five waves down for one and two. And there's also five waves in this section here as well for wave three. And we've been waiting for an A and a B and a C for wave four to come back to the wave four of one lesser degree. And then we we're looking for five waves down. Now, I know the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 and uh, the Dow and all the, all of those uh, indices have all got different uh, different structures. It was just that this one was the simplest one and the most stable is one to 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 work with. And uh, currently we're in this uh, this move down through here, but we're only about halfway down. So I'm sort of puzzled a little bit because I know that. Um, I know that uh, uh, the the you know if this is going to be correct here and we're going to be coming down here further. <coughs> currently, we're yeah, so we're only halfway down here. So that means we've still got you know quite a few days. This is a daily chart. Quite a few days of of this to to move down further, which will leave the S and P five hundred and the Dow and all that um, lower still. Do you know? So um, I think one of the important things that we can take away is that uh, we are um, you know we are in a corrective pattern and um, there's just more to, to, to come on, on on the Dow Jones transports so that means that there, there, there should be more downside on the S&P 500 uh, so when we're looking at these situations uh, let's just go back to the um, the bigger picture here so you know we're expecting wave e to come down here but i know on the dow transports we're actually going to be coming uh lower through through here so we may get a situation where yes we do come lower through here and maybe even take out this low i've seen wave e take out wave c before so it's not like a big deal so i i'm thinking that <clears throat> this is quite probable to come into this area here and then and then move up from from there taking out these lows here so i'm thinking that there's a there's a bit of a short uh trap uh that can be had and we would need to be you know mindful uh of of that situation so i'm just putting that on the table um because the day in the day ahead report here we explore um all the possibilities uh as such and uh and that's one of them that we need to uh to, to take on board i mean after all you know all these patterns in here you know they're all in three waves so we, we you know we, we we're in some kind of corrective pattern here you know so uh, you know, we could even come down to these old lows down here and, and just pierce them as well. So it's, yeah, it, it's we're still in tricky territory, uh, put it that way. Um, but I'm fully aware of a bearish count that we can, we can, you know, work with. But I think we just need to continue to work through this mess, unfortunately. Um, and obviously this rocks the boat for, uh, for the European markets and, uh, of course, the Asian markets of... Uh, are, are quite bearish and have got their own thing uh, happening because of the commodity markets on, on part part of it. Um, so, um, okay, so the NASDAQ, um, <clears throat> we had uh, two counts for this as well, and this is the uh, alternative count that we were looking at. Um, and we had this alternative count here because we knew that if the S&P 500 was going to go down, well then, uh, this count would come into play as well. So this is a um, a bit of an expanded flat uh, pattern. Uh, so wave one, an A wave, a B wave that takes out the top here, and then a C wave that takes out the low here. So this is also a trap pattern as well where, where it makes new highs and traps the bulls here and then takes the bulls out here and then sends you know the, the the bear market people in but they also get trapped as well so it's a uh, a bull and bear uh trap here and then we see a strong move so when we do see an expanded flat uh pattern we normally see a strong move that uh follows uh that so i'm sort of interested to see uh how this pans out um so yeah look uh at this stage here we would need to see a move above this old high here for the actual confirming of a trend to start here uh the other point is here if you've got uh 
time we're looking for five waves down through here. Uh, once that's completed, we would also need to see this move up here past the 61.8% from here to wherever that low may be in place uh, here as well. Because if we've got five waves here, because in a bear market, this here can be an A wave, a B wave over to here, and then a C wave to here. <clears throat> so this can be down for one, an ABC back for two, coming back to the 61.8 retracement level, and then moving down here again. So we do need to see it above that 61.8 retracement level from this move down through here. So it's all uh, treading on water uh, here at the moment with these. So uh, we just need to be uh, you know, a bit diligent. But as I pointed out the other day, there was lots of patterns around when we looked at Yahoo and uh, TROW that they were in sort of big wave fours as well. And they've got potential to uh, to, to to move higher, so you know all is not lost to the uh, to 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 the to, to the bear side just yet. So we just again, we just don't want to get trapped. That's all. So we're just keeping an open mind and working both counts until we can confirm uh, that we're actually on track. All right, cheers.